okay guys again it's a practical of bioinformatics and in this video we'll be talking about uh, the importance of gene centric databases and why we use gene centric database so actually uh, for for knowing all these details uh, we need to go for ncbi or national center for biotechnology information so let's let's go here and let's find it out so actually there are many different types of databases as you can see here in the drop down in inside in ncbi you can find that the database can be gene nucleotide biosample books clean var and many many different types genome and uh, many different varieties of databases now we are mainly focused on here in the gene database and which is called a gene centric database now the importance of gene centric database is that it will give you the information of all genes at a particular locus so if you if you impact a particular locus it will give the idea of all the genes that is present into the particular locus and also if you want to find a particular gene it will give you the idea that in inside the whole chromosome inside the whole chromosome or the genome of human being in what chromosome that particular gene of interest is and what are the functions of that genes and the details of the gene structure and everything it will provide you so let's find it out and how it will help us to get the idea so let's say uh, let's say we want to find the dot gene uh, that we have previously talked about so let's find out dot in this gene centric database and after the search it will give us you can see many different results and all of the genes are the dot genes and the dot gene here it means the deoxyuridine triphosphate and that's that's true for all of them right for homo sapiens for escherichia coli uh, mus molluscus and many many different uh, examples uh, that they provide us many examples that they provide us in many different uh, different bacteria different eukaryotic systems and many different things they will provide us this particular value and we get this dot in all of them and what is the function of this dot and what is the chromosome where the dot is there so you can see here in chromosome number 15 of human being we get this dot gene similarly if we look for mus molluscus or or normally house mouse we can see this uh, gene in chromosome number 2 similarly if you look at the ratus uh, you can find it in the chromosome number 3 so it will give you a comparative idea about the gene that you are working with uh, what is the chromosome uh, the gene is residing in and uh, in for for different uh, animals where the cro where this chromosome is actually is what this gene is actually so so let's find it out let's find out for this particular dot gene and if you click this dot it will bring us to this gene sequence again so here we come the gene sequence deoxyuridine triphosphate uh, so dutp tri uh, dutp is a common example of the gene and if we scroll it down we can get the summary that uh, the summary is suggesting that this gene encodes essential enzyme of nucleotide metabolism and many many different uh, important factors about that and the lineage of it is eukaryotes and everything is provided here and as you can see uh, as we as we scroll it down a little bit so you can find uh, that this this gene you can see this is the dot gene in the graphical representation Then in this graphical representation we can see uh, many different rights that that now if if i if i it is a scroll so if we if we scroll it down what we can see here we can see the different uh, different locus where it presents actually you can see the locus is chromosome number 15 at a particular way and in this particular region we can see many different varieties of position that we can find this gene right so many different genes present in this same locus we can find it using this gene centric databases so if we if we scroll it down further we can find it uh, here as you can see that the introns are highlighted exons are also highlighted and many different sections are highlighted so you can get a fair bit understanding of introns you can get the understanding of exons and you can get the whole gene sequence and every idea is actually provided but the most important thing is that this gene centric databases will actually give you uh, the idea that uh, that what are the other genes that are present in the locus so let's from from this drop down menu if i select this rep se rep sequence uh, uh, of this gene we can get uh, that gene idea also here we go uh, that sequence is also provided this is dbsnp so it's a simple single nucleotide polymorphism result for that particular gene and we get the idea here right and again if we vary this uh, to some something else again alternative hu ref here so 
so this is another accession number so accession numbers will vary because uh, those entries are coming from different uh, different uh, places so you can see another result as we can see here in this case okay so we can find different different we can find the examples or or uh, the actual sequence uh, result from different perspective different point of view and with different regions and that's that's very much important for that and and not only that but you can get a comparative mapping of your gene or the position of your gene with respect to chromosome number 15 so this is the whole chromosome number 15 and you can see the dart gene is kind of uh, in this particular region and other genes like like this gene fbn which is the fibrillin gene is there and another genes like oxidation re resistance one pseudo genes is also uh, also present there so so you can get a fair understanding of this chromosome and how these genes are aligned pretty clearly and you can get a, a, another very important part that you can get many variety uh, of, of or many views of your gene uh, from different research and from different accessions that that is brought in into this database okay so that's why these gene centric databases are uh, are sometimes very much handy tool once you're working with a known gene sequence of your interest that's what the importance of these uh, gene centric databases guys and i hope that's helpful thank you